Hey everyone and welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today I thought I'd just show you my new solar setup. So starting with this one, this is my original 100 watt solar panel. Um, so what I've done, because uh, I need to connect it to the back of the boat, um, but being a center cockpit obviously I can't run it over the top so I've had to run the cable underneath. So I've had to drill a hole here um, and run two MC4 cables down there. And then basically underneath the door. Uh, and then up again, uh, I'll cut another hole uh, just on top of the lever, lever windows and run the cable all the way down to the back of the boat. Uh, <coughs> these are my two new 150 watt solar panels. So I've got two of these, so it's 150 watts each. Um, and each of the solar panels is then fed into these. So these are essentially um, adapters that allow me to um, plug into plug uh, up to three solar panels in parallel. So I've got two of those. And then down here, this is my double adapter or splitter. So essentially there's my positive and negative coming in there. Um, and it splits then uh, the power that comes out. So I've got two cables going to two um, all-in-one power supplies. Um, this is one of my power supplies. Um, it's a 105 amp hour um, all-in-one. It's got an MPPT controller in it, a uh, pure side and wave inverter for about, I think it's about 300 watts or something. Um, <clears throat> it's got a funky LED display, so you know what sort of charge your battery is always in. It tells you just a percentage. It doesn't really tell you amps and stuff, but just tells you percentage. USB, USB-C type uh, outputs, as well as a 12-volt plug, and obviously solar or 230-volt inlet. Good piece of kit, that. Um, I've got another one downstairs as well. It's um, slightly larger in size, but it's smaller in capacity. It's 78 amp hours. So essentially I've got two. The great thing I love about this solar setup is it's plug and play. You don't have to be a whiz bang electronics engineer to be able to wire it all in. It's simply, you know, just plug in the leads. The one thing you've got to check though is the polarity. So I never thought I'd even dream of buying one of these, <laughs> but this is a necessity um, and it's been fantastic in checking polarity. Um, so I've learned how to use it, thanks to my mate Charlie from Texas, he's shown me how to, because he's an electronics engineer, so he's been teaching me sort of the, you know, basics 101, um, uh, you know, electronics and stuff, so he's shown me how to use this, so now I can check polarity. Um, I'll just give you a demo, so just here, right, so the bottom two leads, the beige and the black, they used to be, that used to be red, they're my original cables going to my original battery, or what I call now battery A. Um, and I thought that wiring the same um, cable up exactly the same way would give me the same polarity. Um, but that was incorrect. So what I've had to do um, is actually do a butt slice down or butt splice downstairs, expose the wires, flip the polarity, and then get your trusty soldering iron out and uh, solder the joints up. So now I've got both cables wired correctly. Of course, you know, checking with my multimeter, <clears throat> my voltmeter, to make sure everything's wired correctly. And it goes into two, my, two all-in-ones, so I can power, or I can charge both batteries simultaneously. I do have all the descriptions and um, photos and things like that on my website. Um, if you go to the, I think it's reviews and power, um, I've got a, I've just updated it actually with all the, the new batteries and the solar panels and what have you. So, look, if you are looking to upgrade um, your solar, I mean, solar panels are relatively cheap now for what you get. So, I've got two of these plus more 100, so I've now got 400 watts total. <clears throat> and like I said, it's really just plug and play. Just checking that the polarity is right, but really it's just plug in a few things, run a few cables, and there it is. So, <clears throat> that's my new solid setup and it makes such a difference. It's a huge difference from 100 to 400. Um, it means now I can run my laptop um, pretty much 
all the time, without having to worry too much. I gave it a good run yesterday, gave it a good couple of charges, and my phone charged a couple of times. And although it really depends on how you manage your power, I tend to instead of letting something drain completely, like my laptop, if it gets around about seventy percent, then I'll put it on and just top it up, you know, and that keeps it that keeps it topped up, fully charged. Same with my phone, um, <clears throat> and that way I'm not having to worry about. Um, you know, the battery's getting charged up, particularly on grey days like there is. There's not much light around, um, but I still will get a little bit of a charge from my panels. So there you have it. Any questions on that, please don't hesitate to sing out below or jump on our website, aussieboater.com, um, for more information about my solar setup. See ya.